All right, everyone, what is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097, just heading home. I was over at my parents' house watching the draft with my dad, and I'm going to make the video right now. Um, the first pick of the second round was great, getting Miles Sanders. Um, the Eagles need a running back, but I'm not going to lie, guys. The wide receiver pick, what is J.J. Ortega Whitehead or something? I can't even say his name right now. Um... I looked him up and everything, but I don't like this pick, guys. Um, especially when they could have got Mitcalf over him. Um, Mitcalf is a beast. I was looking at that guy. That guy's a freaking Calvin Johnson. Um, and so, them picking this guy, and, and honestly, in general, guys, I'm just so tired of these wide receivers that the Eagles keep selecting. Um, you know, and this whole like Nelson Aguilar trade rumor thing that was going around. I'm just tired of watching the Eagles develop talent and then they're just trading it away for younger guys. It just makes no sense. I don't understand the NFL's um, obsession with youth these days. I, I think that youth is fine and all, but I mean, when you have a veteran player, you don't have to get rid of them just because there's a younger guy out there. I mean, it, it's just it's just getting ridiculous. And every single year, the Eagles are looking at these wide receivers like this, or they're, they're just drafting really weird you know like Miles Sanders is fine but the trade for Jordan Howard um, you basically have the same guy with Miles Sanders so they just have the same two running backs now I'm looking at it's like another um, Darren Sproles uh, what's his face I can't even remember his name anymore that guy that was on the Eagles for like one off season and then he went to the the Lions for a bit. Donnell Pumphrey, that's his name. Donnell Pumphrey. It's like that. They they had Darren Sproles and so they went out and got another Darren Sproles and Donald Pumphrey and he, he was a complete bust. And now they go out and get Miles Sanders, which who knows? I don't know what he's gonna be. No one knows um, what's gonna happen. But that one's fine, really. I'm glad the Eagles went out and got a running back. But boy, man. Getting that, that J.J. Whitehead, that was not a good move in my opinion. He's just basically Mac Hollins 2.0. I looked at his physical attributes. You know, they're going to use him in the red zone is what I heard and whatever, yada, yada, yada. But now there's a wide receiver that's on the chopping block. And I'm just like, who's it going to be? If they get rid of Nelson Aguilar, I'm going to be very upset with the Eagles, guys. You'll be hearing a rant video for sure if that happens because... Nelson Aguilar was one of those guys where I, he pissed me off so bad, you know, but the Eagles decided to stick with him year in and year out. It's an investment at this point. And so if, if you're not valuing someone like Nelson Aguilar when you've put in this much time and this much effort, then I just don't understand where your mindset is as, an, as the Eagles organization. Um, because it's like, why didn't you just cut ties with Nelson Aguilar two years prior then? Why just stick with him? And go and win a Super Bowl with him, you know. So, anyway, I'm done yelling. I don't want to. I won't yell anymore in the video. But I just had to get that out of the way of how I feel about that. But we'll just have to see. In my opinion, I give the the second round. It's like a 50-50 to me. It's like I think that Miles um, Sanders was a good pick, but I think that Whitehead was not really. It's not what the Eagles need. It's not. I'm not saying Whitehead's a bad player. I just don't think it's what the Eagles needed. I would have much rather seen maybe another cornerback because, um, you know, we don't know what Sidney Jones is, is going to have. Or, like I said, um, Mitcalf. Mitcalf would have been great. I would have been all over that guy. I mean, that guy's a freaking beast. I couldn't believe it when I looked, looked him up. The, the dude looks like a freaking gladiator, guys. I mean, the guy has a 10-pack. That's how freaking ripped he was. So... The Seahawks ended up getting him, so congratulations to the Seahawks for getting that guy. He's a beast. He's going to help Russell Wilson out quite a bit, but we'll just have to see. So, Anyway, guys, that's this video. Um, overall in the draft, though, I think the Eagles are two out of three. I think that the, uh, the first pick they did with Andre Dillard, fantastic selection. That guy is going to be great. Um, cannot praise that one enough, but... Um, Sanders is a little bit eh, not bad, but not really what you what you would necessarily want. I'd rather have had them draft like another Shady McCoy style. Um, 
running back just to compliment Jordan Howard, but that is what it is. And then the Whitehead trade, don't really agree with it. But I'd like to hear what you guys think. If you agree with me, disagree with me, think I'm crazy, whatever. I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as I'll be making videos all season long covering the NFL and the Eagles. Um, but to all my returning viewers, thank you so much for watching. This has been Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.